bring prayer for us. In Jesus' name. Eternal God, we honor you. Thou art worthy to be praised. From the rise of the sun to the going of your worthy. Hallelujah, Ashanda. There is no God like you. You are the only God that sits in heaven. You are the low God that sits on your throne. You rule it in the atmosphere. You are powerful, you are mighty. Hallelujah. He said, let everything that have bread praise you. We come to worship you today. He said, it will pipe it out to man once a day. But after that come the judgment. We revent you, we glorify you, we give you thanks this day for your mercy. It's because of your mercy we are here today to lift up your name. You did not have to make me live, but because of your mercy. We thank you, God, for this hour. We thank you for this gathering. We thank you for your people that come together, together to lift up the name of Jesus. Oh God, in this fashion, so many mornings, so many signs. Oh Lord, we pray, God, and touch our heart today. And what we shall do for the rest of the day, we pray, God, for your blessing. We ask you for your direction and your protection. Lead and let us follow. Have thy own way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord, everyone. Just give your heart and your glory. Just give God the glory. Give God the glory. So we are here for a funeral service. Nevertheless, we are here to worship God. Praise the name of the Lord. You may be seated in the house of the Lord. Amen. I just want to be glad that today is the of the Lord. We have a service. And uh, visiting friends and real family. Let me greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ, who is soon coming King. Let me show uh, condolences to the Avery family on behalf of those that are most the temple. In contrivance, we share your condolences on Miss Nelly Walker as the part out of this world. We know that we all have to die. I mean, death is an enemy. Nevertheless, although it's an enemy, it will be a friend for those that find rest. Yes. And um, nobody is going to live forever. Matthew 969, but he died. So every one of us, they're going to die. But it doesn't stop there. But I just want to encourage your heart today, brave family, that you try to make your call in an election sure. That when your appointed time comes, then your soul will find a resting place. God bless you as we go through this procedure. Amen. You know, those that want to participate, just do it to the best. You be courageous and knowing that lots of people are breaking down, and lots of people are sad and mourning. That's what they break. It doesn't matter how your heart struck, when it comes and dead, it gets weak. Nevertheless, that's what we pray because Jesus died to show us that we all have to die. Don't feel any any way because you put a casket there. That's your policy. As we will put it, you know, you're getting your money worth as well. No problem. <laughs> so you just enjoy the best of the service. God bless you, Minister Leslie. Your moderator is coming to you in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus. Good afternoon, God bless you. Amen. At this time, we are at our first lesson on our program, uh, which will be done by Kelly Ryan Grandson. At this time. Good evening, everybody. Just want to thank you all for coming up. And I'm going to make this quick as possible. I'm going to sound the trumpet with fire. This is a warning for everybody, both saved and unsaved. This message goes for me too. I'm not out of it. And I just want to thank you guys. And I just want to thank you guys for doing this for the family. I just appreciate it. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So, the first scripture 
I'll be reading from John chapter 3, starting at verse 3. Amen. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. I will not stand here and lie to you if you die outside of Jesus Christ. In other words, if you die as a sinner, you will not inherit the kingdom of God. Ain't no, ain't no uh, shortcut through salvation. You got to go straight away. Hallelujah. Jesus. First chapter and verse I'm going to is first first Corinthians chapter uh first Corinthians chapter six verse starting at verse ten. First Corinthians chapter six starting at verse nine. Know you not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived. There is there is so-called pastors out there that will preach the prosperity gospel to you guys, telling that you can still live a ungodly, wicked lifestyle and think that you're gonna make it in. That is a lie. But a true man of God who's after God's own heart will stand up and tell you the truth. Once we come in contact with Jesus Christ, hallelujah, we cannot live our life how we want to. But we are going to be submitted to the Lord and we're going to live for him. And we're going to bring him glory. We can't partake of righteousness and unrighteousness at the same time. We cannot live for Jesus Christ and Satan at the same time. You're either going to choose one because guess what? Satan cannot get you into heaven. Only Jesus Christ. So do not let him lead you astray. But follow the Lord. Hallelujah. Neither fornicators, no idolaters, no adulterers, no effeminate, no abu abusers of men of themselves with mankind. Hallelujah. We go to Second Chronicles. Second Corinthians seven twenty one. Hello. Yes, ma'am. A few more minutes. Second yeah. yeah. Chronicles seven fourteen. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and, and will forgive their sins and will heal their land. Hallelujah. You want to become his people. We must obey. We must turn away from our wicked ways. Hallelujah. God is not going to accept. God is not going to accept us, hallelujah, if we are not his children, hallelujah. we got to turn to the Lord, hallelujah. He gets sick and tired of us breaking his heart. And the most important one, hallelujah. You cannot escape this one. This is guaranteed. of the apostles, men and brethren, 
what shall we do? And then Peter gave him the beautiful answer. Hallelujah. Then Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We got to repent. We got to turn from our wicked ways. Give up this worldly lifestyle. Once we go down in the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah, your life will no longer be the same. I am a living testimony. Hallelujah. I wasn't always saved, but my God, Jesus, he came down and rescued me. I went down in the water, came up. Holy Ghost filled. Hallelujah. This is a warning. Hallelujah. Wake up. Look behind you at that casket. Once you get there, there is no repentance. The time will be done for you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. But after that, come on to judgment. And so we just do want to lose. Amen. The funeral service without missing warning. Amen. And grandson was asked to read, but he was felt compelled to encourage the family and the friends to seek the Lord while you have life. God bless you, my brother. God bless you. In Jesus' name. We thank God for him this afternoon. Amen. I pray that the rest of the family will eat this. Amen. Encouragement. Yes. And make their calling and an election sure. God bless you. Put your hands together for him one more time. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. And this time there was election from Michael Jones. Right? We'll move on. We have a second lesson. Amen. First Corinthians 15, 50, 58. So read and read. Amen. The Bible verse is taken from First Corinthians 15, verses 50 to 58. And it reads, Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must come on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sin? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the love. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in the vein of the Lord. Yes. Amen. Put your hands together. Let me see the thought of the mode of God. Thank God for all the scriptures. Amen. This afternoon. Amen. In the place of Michael Jones, I ask the call. Um, Ask for the name of this one. Say, praise the name of the Lord. All right, let's see, come in. Yeah. Bless him. Yeah. Everybody say, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Sweet Jesus, sweet Jesus, what a wonder you are. You are brighter than the morning star. You are there, you are there.
Amen. Amen. But I can lie, Shell. You must follow Acts 2 and verse 38. I have a man again. So if you're going to sing this song, I encourage us, you have to get right. Who is here if you want to get right now? Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Wonderful song. Amen. At this time, I believe we are at our offering, which will be, we'll put that a little further down in our program. Amen. I will be taking, taking the tributes. At this time, we have the first tribute coming from Ken Ride. Enron, yes, yeah, sorry, night, amen, son, at this time, Enron, please come forward. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Best of all, you've been here. Yeah. That's my mom. She has a wonderful life. And she takes care of all of her kids and also friends. And she also got good loving friends. As mom said, we don't live forever. Yeah. One day it's going to be called upon us. That's, right. That's not a nice day when you come, but we have to accept it. Yeah. And, you know, right now, the thing is, people should live good together. Yeah. You know, the gathering is wonderful, but we take this for us to meet up. It's not too good. Don't be lying, we should always be heading towards one another and keeping our mind clear. I don't have too much to say, but love you all and thank you all for being here. May God bless you all. The scripture tells us that in everything that I've prayed, praise the Lord. Amen. It's a reason for a living is in the one who raises us up. In the morning and set us down at night. Praise the name of Lord Jesus. Amen. Our second tribute will be coming from Genuine Funeral Services. Okay. And supplies. Praise the name of Lord Jesus. Genuine Funeral Services. Representative. We worship the Lord. Hallelujah. We worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I hear the sound of a mighty rushing wind and it's close to Oh, 
men, we are asking that we will have something at this time that they would like to say, please step forward. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. I've known, I know her, Miss Sheila. I know her for about five years. Me and her do business together. And I always encourage her. I always tell her about oh God. She always has a smile and she always says to me, that's true. I just want to sing this song. This song has laid on my heart. I just want to sing it. Early this morning, I woke from my sleep. I heard a voice speak softly.
church of Redemption. But thanks be to God. Amen. That the blood was shed. That we have opportunity to raise from the dead. Praise the name of Lord Jesus at the time. Another hope tribute in Jesus' name. Praise the name of the Lord.
Praise the name of the Lord. I believe it is the afternoon and our program led by Sister Mori. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus at this time. Praise God, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Some glad morning we shall see Jesus in the air.
Praise the name of God, Jesus. Amen. Let's thank you for God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Delivered up the dead. 
that were in them. And they were church every man according to their works. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was uh, not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Ladies and gentlemen, somebody said, I wrote it before in the hand of thought more than men. See, God is a uh, merciful God, but his words stand forever. That's right. And let me tell you something, I'll tell you something. Some folks look at me very simple. I know that is a very sad thing. In the moment when you have somebody die, it doesn't matter how you're strong, it breaks you down. Well, the scripture in Acts, Hebrew 9 27 says that was a, it was a point to the man who wants to die. Right. And after this, from the judgment, which made we all have to die. But it does not stop there. It is not like you die and they bury you and it is there. In the lesson that was read in Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 15, said this more term. Mortal is talking about a temple. We are mortal. Hello, somebody. Every human are mortal. But this mortal must have put on immortality. Mortality is spiritual. We're going to come voice and you must repent and baptize in Jesus' name. Receiving the gift of the Holy Ghost. That's immortality. Yes. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Receiving the gift of the Holy Ghost. The coming child of God is going to sound. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. And when this corruption put on an incorruption, it is swallowed up. Yes. And then on death, there's a Right, there's a victory. But thanks be to God who give us the victory. Oh, praise God Almighty. For the things of death is sin. And the sin and the sin and the strength of sin is the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. But thanks be to God. Because he died, you and I can have a victory. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. You see, Jesus faced death. He has to shed blood. Yes. For blood is significant. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Some people are afraid of blood if you're walking on the street and you see some blood somewhere, you get panic. Because you doesn't know somebody may be thinking they're killing somebody here. Blood of gold, blood of blood, turned off, could not wash away our sins. But Jesus took our place upon the cross. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Then all night, stretching wide. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. They push us so much to his side. Right as Jesus' hands and we were bleeding. And his side were bleeding too. What a grand and glorious morning when the Lord was crucified. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we have to pay the penalty. Yeah. He alone that says that. And we don't embrace it. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. May choose to live 969 years. But he died. Hallelujah. Even though it was a sad moment for death, but we all have to die. <laughs> and death is a transportation that transport us out of this earth. Became none of us. If you are going to eternal life, you could not go in this tabernacle. 
But this is the man that's going to dissolve. And God is going to give us a body as we are pleasing. For praising the name of the Lord. Whether to eternal life or domination. But every man is going to get a body as we are pleased God. Whether you are male or female. Shall in the revelation of oh, bless the name of the Lord. See the depth, small and great, stand before the judge, the good God Almighty. This judge is not like when you have a judge in the court and you go to court to face the unjust judge. This judge is a righteous judge, a judge in whom there is no form of sin. Never man have to stand before him. Both great and small. Grandma, grandpa, sons and daughters, little children as well. Hello, somebody. Everyone has to stand before God. Men go to judge out of the books. According to the deeds that don't even When the 
they come at him in a furniture direction. Yes.
Oh God Almighty, if you are a smoke, come sometime with a fire spot will burn you. Yeah, it can't do less smoke fire that can quench. Yeah. Hell fire. The sea will give up the dead that come in it. Yeah. Some people that get they so watery grave, yeah. even those that they are clean yet. Yeah. When we come the ashes. <laughs> God is going to find a body, give the ashes. Yeah. Another person come. Just come, just run, come, just run, come. If somebody calls you for money, you'll be running. If you hear that they're in the light, come. You would go for joy. Come on, come. Let me pray for somebody. Get up one of the seats and come. Try it to change things. Oh, pray. I want the creation. Amen. Abraham served God. Isaac served God. Jacob served God. And there's a lot of people right now serving God. You must serve God. Praise the name of the Lord. He has Make the way, or praise God, the man can. So let it come to realize and understand that I should not say what God will find. I had to jump, give them the strength. If we back on the journey, guide them from Axel, guide them to jump. Let nothing defeat them. Let them as hear the word today, Lord, to meditate on the word, to realize that they have a soul to be saved, and I got to move high, and I had to jump. Oh God, take full control of them. Hard to wait, put right for them who goes that it means. Make way for them, great God of the universe. You are our father, we are your children. Therefore, yeah, we are dependent on you, strength and bless them. How do you pray? And say that in Jesus' name. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. God bless Mary, we're going to ask you to pray for the Bray family. In the name of Lord Jesus from Amen Simone Bailey. Granddaughter, praise the name of the Lord. Praise God. Yeah. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. You know, for the lady you welcome. Not how she died, but how she lived. Not what she gained, but what she gave. These are the units to measure. To measure the words of a woman, regardless of birth. To bring back a smile, to banish a tear. Not what the sketch in the newspaper says, but how many were sorry when she passed. Today, we gather to honor and celebrate the life of Nellie Walker, a truly remarkable woman whose presence enriched the lives of all who knew her. Nellie, born in Manchester, Jamaica, where she was lovingly raised by the Blackwood family in the serene surroundings of Epping Forest. Her early years were marked by strong values and deep-rooted sense of community that she carried with her throughout her life. It was in Manchester that Nellie welcomed her beloved children into the world, each one a testament to her enduring love and strength. In 1981, Nellie made the courageous decision to migrate from Jamaica to Canada, seeking new opportunities and experiences. Her journey did not stop there. She eventually moved to America, where she found her home and community. Nellie's life was a testament to her resilience and adventurous spirit, as she embraced each new chapter with enthusiasm and grace. For over 21 years, Nellie worked at Walmart store, where she became a cherished colleague and friend. Her dedication and hard work were evident in everything she did, but it was her warm, caring nature that truly endeared her to those she worked with. Her colleagues were not just co-workers, they were extended family, and they held her in the highest regard. Nellie had an extraordinary ability to connect with people, always making them feel valued and appreciated. Her kindness, generosity, and unwavering positivity left a lasting impression on everyone she met. She faced life's challenges with, courageous, with courage and grace, never losing her optimism or her belief in the goodness of people. Nellie was also a lover of music, particularly fond of her cuckoo tunes. Sunday mornings in her home were filled with the uplifting sounds of gospel songs, creating an atmosphere of peace and joy. Her love for music was a reflection of her vibrant spirit and her deep connection to her roots. One thing everyone knew about Nellie was her love for makeup. 
She had an impeccable sense of style and always took time to look her best, showing the world the importance of self-care and confidence. Beyond her professional life and personal interests, Nadi was a devoted mother, friend, and community member. She loved to share stories of her old man, and her home was always open to friends and family, filled with laughter, love, and comforting aromas of her delicious cooking. She brought a piece of Jamaica with her wherever she went, enriching the lives of those around her with her vibrant, vibrant culture and heritage. Nadi passed away, leaving behind her four, her four children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, and other relatives and friends, who will forever cherish her memory. Her legacy of love, kindness, and strength will continue to inspire us all. As we remember Nelly today, let us celebrate the incredible life she lived. Let us carry forward her legacy of kindness, her unwavering belief in the power of love, and her commitment to making the world a better place. Nelly, we Nelly Walker may no longer be with us in body, but her spirit will live on in our hearts forever. Rest in peace, dear Nelly. You will be deeply missed, but never forgotten. Praise the name of Lord Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. This time we'll be doing a prayer for the family. Family, please. Amen. Come on the front. Praise the name of the Lord. One more time we approach the throne of grace. Thank you for this afternoon, the celebration of peace. Dear Lord, family member, as they are gathered, Lord, we pray. Hear from heaven, no prayer, no petition, as we make our request known to be. It is you that have made us, we did not make ourselves. And you came from heaven to earth just to show us the way. And as they would have gathered at this altar today, we are asking that your hand be heavy upon them. For to lead them to the path of righteousness for your name's sake. That you keep them from the hand of the enemies. That you continue to deliver them. We pray that your mercy will overshadow them. We pray that you will reveal yourself in them. Bring them to the enlightenment, Lord. That they need to come to know you, the Lord and personal Savior. We pray that you will comfort their hearts this time of your bereavement. Your God, we are depending on you. We are asking that you will hear these petitions and answer our prayer. We are looking forward for deliverance. As we are about to go from this place, we pray that you will go with them, strengthen the family band, let them be love, let them be unity. Rest with them, dear Lord. Raise the children of the fear and the admonition of the Lord. That when you come, Lord, they can be called in the family and number to the saints. Bless them, we pray right now. We tell you thanks. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you. Hello, 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 hello. Please, please, please. We want to do it harder, but it doesn't do it like that. The minister before, and then the casket with the family member, the congregation. Please, let us do it harder. Do it harder. Officers before, then the casket with the family members, and then the choir. Please. On the river that we call the sweet forever. Don't you hear the bells are ringing? 
Bro, ini memang.
last time. You may do it or not. One. Okay, sure. Come on, my dog. Take that one. All right. Get over there. Please, Almighty God, in his wise province, take out of this world unto himself the soul of our deceased sister. We therefore commit her body to the ground, her to earth, ashes to ash, thus. I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Right, blessed are the dead which die in the Lord. From henceforth, say the Spirit, that they may rest from their labor and their work do follow them. Okay. On the hymn sheet, sing the wondrous love of Jesus, sing his mercy and his grace. It is an answer bright and blessed is prepared for us a place. Sing. While the Miley Mason doing their thing, you want to sing. Sing the one just love of Jesus. Sing his mercy and his grace. In the mansion bright and blessed he came for us a
One more time, we thank you, Lord, for this and other privilege. Oh, God, thank you for a fair day. Thank you for your people that turn out to clear their last respect for their loved ones. Oh, we ask in the bless of our hearts, strength and family, those on their journey back home, for take them on their journey safely. We for their strength to pray for courage, endurance, and perseverance. Oh, God Almighty, we ask in you take full control of the only wise God of the universe, and you can comfort the broken hearted. Therefore, Lord, we ask in thee, as your courage, the heart of Mary and Martha, courage your heart in this time of bereavement, bless and have way. Take full control, we pray, and say thanks in Jesus' name, and now may save and grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, of our God, the Father, and the faithful fellowship, of the Holy Spirit, comfort, and may rest and remain abide us with us all. Oh, God bless you, dear ones, on a safe journey back home. Please remember many you at Land Sacrament at um, William Seal, okay? God bless you all.